The artist that my group got to do was Gracie Kendall. She is a Second Life artist, that is her avatar's name, and all she, her real name is Christine Shoemaker, but she uses Second Life as a platform in which to distribute, display, and even create her artworks. Um, she's been able to make some financial gain off of this. I mean, people have seen her pictures in the game, contact, contacted her in real life to buy the real painting. Um, how they're able to view her paintings in Second Life is she takes a digital still of the artwork and uploads it into Second Life database and she's able to basically have her 2D art turn into a 3D artwork. Um, she, my experience with her, with my group, uh, is a pretty hectic story because I tried to do, I had work that day, I tried to uh, take my computer over there but their firewire was blocking it so then I had to drive home and then uh, just to make the uh, meeting with my group members. But, I mean, it is what it is. It's just kind of a funny story. Um, so, yeah, my experience with her, like, uh, she was very optimistic. She was a very positive person, happy, go lucky. Um, it just, it showed um, in her artwork, which it's basically, I had all, everything she does, um, all her paintings, for the most part, they're all abstract. So, you know, they're just shapes and images. There's not any exact um, picture that she's trying to create. It's just however she's feeling. And uh, it, everything that she has in her paintings, it's just like the colors, the combinations of colors she uses, the um, just the strokes that she creates on her canvases are just, they, they, I don't know, they make me happy. They just bring good feelings into my head and uh, that's definitely the type of person that she is though too. Um, I had asked her if she felt more of an obligation to um, you know produce things for her fans or if it was more of a self-motivation thing and she said it's always pretty much been a self-motivation thing just whatever she feels it's not anything that she tries to categorize or I guess limit um, by keeping something in a certain place by I don't know categorizing something you're just I think yeah I think it's limiting yourself and she doesn't do that that's why a lot of her um, work is actually uh, it means something to her it's all connected to her a lot of like the titles on some of the pictures you'll see on my wiki space uh, one of them was called uh, out to lunch and that's basically she said it was based on her eating disorder um, so these are all you know coming from the inside and I think it shows and it just shows that she's beautiful inside um, among other things you know with her work and just as a person um, it's just you know uh, looking at her website you can just see that it well it was nothing like I've ever seen that's you know pretty much why it was kind of mind opening I guess to me um, I'm not used to abstract work or um, actually I've never been to an art gallery before so she gave us a you know a tour of her little studio of some paintings that she had and then she teleported us to um, one of her best known uh, pieces of work which is a thousand avatars where she was uh, taking all these different portraits of people, you know, front and back shots, and basically builds these, this giant building with it, these four walls, you know, encl enclosing um, her structure, but which all these images, and then she ended up publishing a book about it too, uh, where she displays the images and talks about the whole experience, and it's just, it's interesting. Uh, she's uh, a big one to admit that uh, you know Second Life is all about like identity and being able to create whatever your ideal identity is you know you can be whoever you want you know girls can be guys guys can, can be girls in real life you never know 
you know. So it's just uh, it's interesting. I I learned a lot. I she taught me us a lot about uh, Second Life itself too. Um, and I, one funny fact I thought was cool was that she said that when she first got onto the game, she used to stay on for like ten to twelve hours. And that's you know, that's half a day. That's a long time. And I shared with her though, but the longest I'd probably because I used to play World of Warcraft, um, the longest I'd been on at one time was like eight hours. So I I can understand that. But anyways, oh uh, yeah, she was just um, just you know an interesting person, and but just like I said, uh, happy. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just was curious because with her all her work coming from feelings, I was wondering if she was like spiritual or religious or anything. And she had said that yeah, she's pretty much she's mainly more spiritual, but s spiritual but searching, and so. Yeah, I don't know. I, I thought that was the perfect answer to that. Um, and then the doll key, as you guys will see in the pictures too, she said that that was uh, she had put that on her avatar because everybody is um, puppets in the game already. You know, it's basically just a puppet of, and you're the one with the strings. You get to take charge. So. It's just interesting. She has a lot of uh, interesting ideas and um, yeah, concepts that just I've never really um, talked to or heard about or seen these things before. So yeah, it was very cool, very cool. Um, I, I can't wait to do the gallery. I think the gallery will be a lot of fun. Um, she likes to do a lot of uh, distortions of body image. Um, and, you know, the ideal all the way down to what you really are or, you know, and, and all that it, there is in between. So I think it would be cool to use uh, some type of body images um, mixed with color because she, uh, she, a big thing with her is color. She likes to use a lot of colors. Um, you know, some are really, really bright, some are really, really just detailed or darker, but like deep. Like they all, I don't know, they just all feel like she fits them perfectly. Like, so, um, yeah, I don't know. I just think for the gallery, I think it would be cool to try to incorporate some type of um, body images uh, with color. And, yeah, um, I think it would be cool. Uh, so I can't wait to see how that turns out. And... Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So, that's my video log, and now I'm signing out.